Let me tell you all the story of St. Patrick. He is the patron saint of Ireland. Uh, when he was 16, he had a very, 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 very difficult time when he was, he was actually captured and uh, held hostage, would you believe? That had nothing to do with me and of the butcher to prove it. He walked as a shepherd for six years. Well, hey, says you. But they didn't pay him a penny, says I. Whoa. And rightly so. He was nothing more than a glorified taxi driver for those sheep anyway. After six years of captivity, or under level five restrictions, he heard a voice in his head saying it was time to go home. Now he said he heard a voice, but Patrick was rumoured to be fond of the old Puccine. So who's to say he wasn't just peace? So he fled Ireland, went back to Britain, became a priest, and then came back to Ireland. Yeah, he wanted to come back to Ireland to spread the word of God and love and peace, and he did that by boxing the face off all the pagans. He was a true Irish patriot, you know. He might have left Ireland, but at least he came back. Unlike some of the World Cup. Oh, listen, that's because you never accused of faking injuries and gone against his teammates. So get your facts right. Don't be talking nonsense, Mick, okay? Yeah, well, this guy is saying Patrick, uh, he's a cut. Uh, the guy's a spoofer, okay? He wasn't even Irish, baby. You should take that back! That you're a disgrace! That's the bottom of the barrel now! He brought Christianity to this country! How will you relax? And uh, he got rid of all the snakes as well, did not a snake at all, at all in the country because of him. He came back, he told them snakes, you do nothing. No one is to do nothing. Get the f out of here! And as a fellow Irish man, I want to quote the great Seamus Heaney, who wrote. And I'm Irish too. Uh, we used to have a dog. It was an Irish wolfhound dog, big dog. And that makes me, I think, 1% fantastic. St. Patrick, great guy, great friend of mine, by the way. St. Patrick was a wonderful individual, you know. Very brave, courageous, you know. I'm very humble, just like me. You know, Jesus Christ, I mean, St. Patrick was such a beautiful, beautiful soul, you know. And he'd be just often found wandering around the town. Flaking, lads, you know, oh, with the stick, you know, off the left, off the right, you know. He loved the flake, that was the man, you know. Oh. The man was a pure genius. I mean, to dedicate one day a year. To just go on drinking. I mean, that is genius stuff, right? I mean, the DJ carries of this world will come and go, but they'll only ever be one St. Patrick, lads. You know, I'm not going to be drawn on it with St. Patrick, you know. No. You know, he's had plenty to say about me down through the years, so, and he can say what he likes, so. Well, you see, you can't have a name like McConaughey and not be Irish. Everybody knows that my hero is St. Patty. And St. Patrick, not Patty! Stop calling him Patty, will ye? Patrick. All right, all right, all right, Mr. President, relax. So that there is the story of St. Patrick. He died March 17th, 461 AD. It was one of the biggest funerals I was ever at. It was huge. Sloan Gafo, August Lafayette, Padrick, son of the ditch.